we are on the Neil 47 Trimaran. This is number 13, hull number 13. And um, we are in La Rochelle, France. It's a cold day, but warmer than in New York. One of the strong points of this boat is the cockpit and the saloon interface. Um, Eric calls it the cockloon because you can open these doors in various positions. Right now it's in a position where you have a division between the salon and the cockpit. We are missing the, uh, the table there, of course. This boat is just being delivered. So excuse some of the uh, imperfections and missing items like the cockpit table. One of the strong points, as I said, is the, uh, is the fact that you can sit in the saloon and in the cockpit and have basically these three doors can move along this track and disappear completely um, on the starboard side here. So you have a completely open uh, space here. Moving forward, you have um, the navigation station here as seen through the owner stateroom window and a U-shaped chef galley Here we have the twin drawers, refrigerator, freezer, oven, two burner stove. And of course for the chef, it's a, it's a delight to work here because you have 360 degree views. I'm six foot two standing right now. So I have a really nice clear vision line to the starboard side navigation station into the owner suite as well as this would be, I guess, where the TV could go, a flat screen, lots of locker space, and this is looking aft. Now let's move to the owner's suite or owner's stateroom. This bed is completely dedicated to uh, the owner. So it's about two meter 10, by I would say 180, so it's a queen size. Opening window, and you can close this curtain, of course, for, for more privacy. I mean, what better way to, to keep your off watch ready than to sit here or lie here reading a book, knowing that you're really close to the action. This is your navigation station. I'm filming through the glass of the uh, stateroom which can of course be closed for privacy. This is the navigation station. We have everything here, chart plotter, autopilot, repeater, uh, VHF, radio. I'm sitting here at the helm station with a perfect view forward and to the sides. Let's continue on down. This is the uh, owner's head but also very smartly, the, the head, the day head for the crew. So you can actually access this day head directly from the, um, from the main deck. This is looking aft. Compression post for the mast, pretty far back. This is a very nice clean installation for the, um, for the 12 volt panel. And this is the 220 panel. This is a European boat. Of course, US boats, we will have um, uh, a 110 system. This boat also has diesel heating, air conditioning. These are the vents for the heater. And this is the basically uh, the sink and the shower compartment uh, that the owner uses as his private um, head, but which of course can also be used by the crew. Okay, let's move from the cockpit to the starboard armor. This can be used as a crew cabin. We enter down through these 
companion way steps. On the newer models, we will have a rotating step sink shower compartment. And as we go down, we can basically see a very wide berth, double berth, beautiful hull windows to enjoy sunsets. Now we're enjoying the opposite of a crusty bulwark. Plenty of light opening hatches. This is the escape or let's say re-entry hatch. You can see underneath the boat here, the bottom of the bridge deck. This is looking aft. And here we have locker space. Little details, these are the hooks, clothes hooks. And behind here is the head. So if we move this aside, you can see the head hiding behind here, which pulls out and occupies this area. Uh, on all the future boats, we'll have these stairs rotate inboard and the head basically will be living in a permanent position underneath the, um, underneath the companionway. So I think it's a very well thought out, good use of space on the Neil 47. The Neil 47, in case you have not heard about it, won just uh, recently the ARC, the transatlantic race for cruisers um, that uh, was won in December of 2019, so just a couple of months ago. A great accomplishment. Also, this boat has won numerous awards. Um, I think more, I think Neil won more than 10 awards in 10 years. I think that's more than any other company has done in the past. This is the Neil 47, the dinghy stored, is uh, the dinghy stored in the back of the transom of the main hull. It's a very smart system. This hook over there basically attaches to the dinghy and can be controlled from the helm station. Here we have the complete enclosure for the cockpit because it's a cold day today here in La Rochelle. Let's explore the um, navigation area and the helm station of the Neil 47. You have all the controls here, engine controls, chart plotter, autopilot, the repeater. This is your anchor windlass and the chain counter control engine on and off. All these boats come with Volvo diesel engines. And it's a single hander's dream. Everything, some of these lines are still missing, obviously. Reefing lines, furling lines. This is the line drive for the, um, for the dinghy lift. This is controlled by this winch here, up and down. So you can control the dinghy as it is being basically lifted from this very hook right here, from this position right here. You have great communication to people in the cockpit and in the salon. So basically uh, you have an open plan whereby no one is separated. A great place to steer the boat right here. The wheel is covered very nicely and you have single engine control. Yes, this is not a catamaran, so you have one engine and you have the obligatory bow thruster. Okay, let's move forward on the Neo 47. It's a twin, twin shroud rig. So it's very well stayed. It's a cutter rig. You have a uh, self-tacking uh, jib and a on the on the permanent stay or an overlapping Genoa. Wide decks. There are no obtrusions. Nothing to stumble over. Plenty of space for solar panels. Beautiful sunset here in La Rochelle. Lazy jacks, fully battened, square top mainsail. A very easy boat to sail and adjust to varying wind conditions. Everything from the cockpit 
is both of the head sails furl. Moving forward, a very smart anchor solution. The anchor is stored, well, not in this case because it's still missing, but it will be stored right here on the top of the, uh, at the end of the uh, bowsprit. Here you can see the tack line for the uh, Janneker or the Code Zero. Everything is racing inspired. Most of the things are lashed. You hardly see any shackles. You're windless with, uh, in this case, beautiful stainless steel chain. Will never rust. Extremely expensive. I think this is an option. And here, let's open this beautiful locker here. We can see the access to the chain locker. Big, huge drop for the chain. So there's no chance of the chain jamming up. These are your batteries for the bow thruster. And this is the bow thruster on the bottom here. So very clean installation. Watertight bulkhead, a major watertight bulkhead here. And uh, this com this is basically the chain uh, bow thruster locker. Very few people talk about the safety aspects of trimarans. It's all about speed or space uh, or comfort. But at the bottom, the bottom line is that if you hit anything on any boat, a uh, monohull will be in trouble because it's a single hull boat. Plus it has a keel, a very heavy keel that's trying to pull it down. On a catamaran, you're better off because um, you you have two hulls instead of one hull and no no lead field keel that, that is trying to kill you. The trimaran has the advantage of having three hulls. So if you hit one hull, you have two other hulls to keep you afloat. These are some of the uh, mute points that no one likes to talk about, but I think I, it needs to be, needs to be stressed. Yeah. Hello everyone again, this is Gregor Tarjan of Aero Yacht, and I just uh, completed a little walkthrough of the uh, Neil 47 Trimaran, which we see here parked in front of the 51 that I also reviewed in a separate video. Uh, this is a 27 foot beam boat, 47 feet long, about 10.7 tons. And uh, for a 47 foot trimaran, it's actually relatively lightweight without being a featherweight. So it gives you plenty of room inside. This is, uh, as we can see, the, the twin head stay rig, a self-tacking jib on a, uh, on a fixed head stay and a uh, bowsprit where we have the Janneker or overlapping Genoa. As we walk along, you can see side hull windows from the uh, starboard side owner suite, fully enclosed helm station. Yeah, we have been very successful with this boat. Um, this is the number 13. Still doing last preparations for the owners who will fly in next week to take delivery of this boat. All in all, a fantastic concept is realized by the meal shipyard.